I am from the Philippines. I'm from Phoenix. Together, Together we're, we're Phil's to Phoenix. Phoenix. Two countries. One heart. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our very first Philippines, Philippines budget, budget video. video. Yay! If you're new to this channel, please keep watching and please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon so that when we do post new videos, you get updates. Hopefully. YouTube hasn't been so great about that lately. And guess what? I got a new hat. Trying to see the angle, perfect angle for my face. We decided matching hats looked cool. Let, uh, dragon, dragon. <laughs> see, isn't it cute? <laughs> so funny. Okay, so much for that. Yeah, uh, we, we, we need to stop getting distracted. <laughs> We've been promising this budget video for a while now. A lot of it's my fault for not getting stuff done. Uh, I came up with a, a kind of a neat uh, spreadsheet that not everything in our budget are we terribly comfortable sharing. And, and what this does is it cuts down the, the core expenses that we're going to be having throughout the, our stay here. Yeah. And it basically gives day-to-day -day type living expenses. And just to let you know uh, on how we track down our expenses, and it's not just numbers that we put in there. We religiously entered our daily expenses since this, since Philippines is a cash-based economy. So show them, John, what application Yeah, I'll do a couple of screenshots this is as well that... Uh, I've got a, an app that I've been using almost 10 years now because I used it for quite a while before you got here that's a really cool, simple, basic budget uh, video or budget uh, uh, application. Yeah, from. It's that, just for phone. Yes. Like, that's the one drawback to it is I would prefer there was there some interconnectivity to the computer, but there isn't. But I, I like it because of its simplicity. So, yeah, maybe that that's part of the problem uh, and the other thing I like on this that I didn't discover until I got with Cindy is you can actually run two different currencies at the same time with it yeah. so you, we and use, so that, that works really well for here yes we do so we use uh, Philippine currency and uh, it's a good application if you are familiar with QuickBooks it's also similar to that like it's very detailed uh, uh, application and very it's more simplified version because you could enter from the very like all the um, you, you know when you are familiar about chart of accounts like from the assets down to letter Z of your chart of accounts you, you can make it as in detailed and complex as you want or yeah. you can keep it as simple as you want. That, yeah, that's part of what I like Because you it. could create the category that you want that it's easier for you to remember. For our uh, personal choice, make it simple. Yeah, and the other thing I like about it is it does not connect with your accounts. Yeah. I, I uh, Mint is supposed to be a great budget app, but I don't like the fact that it connects with your accounts. Um, I, I tried Mint for a little bit and wound up getting double entries because of the way it accounted, but when you disconnect it, it, does, it just got... So with a Quicken software, it's... Connected. That's who Mint comes from, it's Quicken. It connects, so anyway, so this app works best for us, so um, maybe you have another app that you've been using for your tracking of expense, feel free to give us your thoughts, ideas, and suggestions, so it would help also to our uh, fellow viewers and subscribers. But the other thing on this is we do reconcile these, uh, our credit card statements and such, I reconcile yes. them once a month, and our Philippine peso budget, because it's primarily cash a cash basis, that we reconcile that every few days, and so we keep track down you know, of our expenses at down to every... Penny. Penny and centavo to doubt to like so. giving tip to like people parking area parking you know so yeah uh, every once in a while especially if it's been a couple weeks since we've updated since we, we reconciled yeah the, the, the we wind up with some pretty big uh, amounts that we just don't account for and we have to scramble and go back through but they're by pretty big I mean like 2,000 pesos 
Yeah. Uh, normally, the, the the unaccounted for is 15, 20 pesos. Yeah. And we're assuming that was just given in tips or something like that that we didn't remember. Yeah. Uh, just whatever receipt we receive, we make sure we enter it immediately to our op budget. And so the, the figures that you're going to see are, are, are actual figures, and, and they're, they're verifiable figures. That they're, they're not best guess, on, on like I've seen some of these budget videos. That these are actual reconciled figures. So I'm going to hand this off to Cindy, and Cindy's the accountant in the family. And no, I'm, you are She's going to primarily do the explanations on this stuff, and... Uh, let you see what what we're what we're showing and give you the explanations of it. But here is our budget. Yes. So and we are a family of two with the seven family members, extended <coughs> family members. Yeah. For most of the fourth quarter. Yeah. Most of the fourth quarter, we were seven to ten people yeah. living in a house. Yeah. Uh yeah, quarter four, the, the Burr months in, in her family, that it's like one entire fiesta. Uh, Christmas is almost an incidental in this one. Yes, we have JJ's birthday, Mama's wedding anniversary, and Papa, and then... Well, your birthday starts off in September. September, yeah. Papa's birthday is in September. September, and then JJ's birthday, Dudong birthday, J, uh, Jujil Mama and Papa's birthday, anniversary. Mama and Papa's anniversary, and um, yeah, so... So yeah, that there, and then we had the fiesta because we showed up. Yep. Uh, got out of quarantine. Oh boy, that was a good one. Yep. But I'm gonna let her start talking and explaining this. Now, the one thing that we don't see for the entire quarter is there was no rent. The because we were staying with Mama Papa's, they already owned the land in the house. Yeah. We didn't have any rent. The one expense, and why we included this area but hadn't. This was an afterthought that in the future we'll start putting in these these type expenses because in October and November we built Mama Papa a new dirty kitchen. Extended, yeah. Uh, we extended the house with it. And so there was a pretty big expense on that that would have been basically what we were paying for rent, but it didn't really fit in any of the categories that we brought over. Yeah. So that's what this area is for in the future. Uh now, the other thing that we do a lot, and you're going to notice this on a lot of these figures, is you see that there's a U.S. budget. Yeah. And down here, you see that we've got a U.S. sheet and a Philippine sheet. Yeah. Uh, not only do we have some U.S. expenses that we do need to keep track of, uh, our credit card we use our credit gets card phenomenal often. exchange rate, that it gets almost 4x uh, for the day. Yeah. And so a lot of bigger expenses, uh, groceries is a big one, that a lot of our groceries... Our groceries, when we arrived, was 18398 But a lot of those are actually paid for... Credit card. ...by an American credit card. Yeah. And... We have high as 67352 Average of 38211.80 and U.S. dollar is 771 so this is what we're doing rate. is we're using yeah yeah i forgot you can't see me pointing at the screen that we're actually going through and doing our own average exchange rates that when we do a cash remittance or remit cash to ourselves that we're including it and then we're going back through and we started to keep track a lot better yeah on what the exchange rates we've been getting for it and so we're taking the average of this chart and using that to come up with an exchange an exchange rate on the dollars. Yeah. And so that's how we're including the dollars back into the budget. Okay, back we're we're going back to Cindy. I'm I'm sorry. I'm done for a minute. No, you're good. So as you could see, uh, for for rent, we don't have as one chat and said we don't have to pay because we stayed in Mama's place. We paid for electric starting on December we said November for the month and we paid 4,850 pesos so basically we averaged $32.66 for a month and you can see the total too in the US dollar conversion 
which is basically for the third quarter or for the fourth quarter it's 97.97 dollars .97. so we have internet why is this so high because we have an installation for our um for our pldt fiber and then uh, we started paying 1500 for a month so with that added together we average 2330 so basically like 47.13 dollars a month so moving on to our uh, water bill this one is um tap water and includes also our distilled water for drinking so both no that is just utilities oh it does not include the water no the the drinking water for this budget one of getting included in groceries oh okay sorry about that so basically we refill water twice for the two of us just twice in a week but for yeah. the seven people it's like four times in a week <laughs> yeah we were getting so basically four, it's we 25 like four or five kilos so 25 yes. pesos per bottle in Sibunga, but here in the city um it's 30 pesos and we give tips so basically it reached to 50 pesos because they're gonna carry it here bring it in the door yeah they hear they deliver it right to the door yeah so yes yeah, so that's our uh war and then our cell phone it's our actually load so um november we have 480 pesos 210 and then average 200 basically we could put as many or as higher load we want yeah cell phones here in the philippines are prepaid versions yeah the, i guess you can get a, a postpaid plan subscribe plan kind of like the u.s yeah but they're not terribly common and it's just way simpler and easier to go with a flow and do the the prepaid now because i started doing uh live streams and, and blowing through load way quicker than i expected so you use basically like 500 a week our next quarter is going to wind up being way high in, in cell phone load way higher than you would normally have but that's because of doing the live streams yeah so basically as you can see under the home category so we have an average of 87.87 dollars .87. and then well let's move on to daily living expense so that includes groceries cigarettes dining out so groceries that includes uh most everything from the person uh personal hygiene like uh from getting um laundry soap to to like you know canned goods noodles fish meat vegetables so from that from the small detail to the biggest one from our war right john oh. and we have um, a high expense in december as you could see it's sixty-seven thousand because with parties birthdays christmas and new year and so we have an average of thirty-eight thousand two hundred eleven dollars and eighty cents and then uh, a pesos and then 771.88 for dollars us dollars cigarettes um it's a yeah, lot that's cheaper a bad expense for me it's a lot cheaper in print i will say we it's bad expense but we find a store that we save 500 pesos for per rim because in other stores like super metro sm they're like 500 pesos more compared to prints so um i may sometimes i well that's this is one thing i've learned to like i need to t take a look on the receipts because some sometimes i ignore them and they, that i did not i didn't i didn't care about the prices so i've learned after just recently that okay which store are low prices and this and this and this because because i just keep grabbing the groceries and don't really care about the price you know because i i became americanized so kind of like that and i said oh it's cheap or something like this and it realized <laughs> that the more you put in your cart the more the higher it is so it's a lesson learned for me too because i always think i stopped converting i stopped you know and this is cheap and then i realized when you accumulate stuff it's higher and john will like well how much you pay like sometimes it's thirteen thousand pesos for it's like four hundred dollars in a grocery and we're like four or five people to go go into the grocery with mama papa dudong and you know uh oh 
that it, it can be a little bit difficult to, to keep your expenses down at times and to give the uh, uh, give, give a decent lifestyle. Yeah. That a lot of this is going back that this quarter we were doing a lot of, of setup and a lot of lifestyle adjustment and yeah. uh, it was a holiday season so yeah our grocery bin here in about a month you would go uh, we're gonna do another we're gonna do another one of these for the first quarter like I said I kind of procrastinated a little bit long getting this one out I should have had this out in beginning of January the happen. next month, I, I figured out how to do this basically as a template so that I can do the entire quarter. But anyways, uh, th this month, like I say, is not, or this quarter is not a, a good example of what a, a monthly lifestyle is here. This is, if anything, it's closer to what a setup, you know, more, uh, your first quarter is set up is going to be. We're just giving you an idea, especially you are very close to your family members. So you could actually choose to just leave by your, you and your husband. It just happened that, of course, I have family and siblings and I have relatives. That it's been a long time. I didn't spend Christmas with them. So, of course, you need to spend money and, you know. And for me, it's normal. Don't get me wrong. To other viewers... I love doing this and we agree with this so it's up to you to um, feel free to comment but I know some people why are you spending money for them why are you helping it this is just our perspective you know this is our choice for me it well, makes me happy you know like helping them like treating them like oh let's go have them a, a celebration because it's also like a legacy like I want to have those great memories so for me that's all it matter and here even even as high as our budgets were that i again that we had yeah i don't have my glasses on so it's a little bit harder for me to see you'll have to forgive me Two. we had an average of 771 a month for groceries for groceries i know a lot of families back in the u.s that have that plus yeah and we have 120 for cigarettes which normally when we're in the u.s it's we three, average 400 three hundred to 400 and dining out dining out just the two of us for not for here in the philippines we'll hundred three, three yeah 300 to 400 or sometimes if especially if it's december we reach up to 600 dollars yeah we, we've had hundreds. we've had months that were over a thousand dollars and just eating out yeah, uh, as you can see, we, we love ate out to frequently eat. Or, or had uh, uh, like dinner parties or invited guests. Uh, yeah, that they're during Christmas time. It would not be at all uncommon for us to have a thousand dollar dining out budget for a month. So yeah, overall, our expenses are still considerably lower. Yeah, but than they would be in the U.S but they are kind of high for, for here. here in the philippines so you know that you're gonna have to uh not so much excuse but you're gonna have to understand these are not typical day-to-day -day expenses our next quarter is going to be a yeah. lot closer to, to that. normal these are more setup expenses yeah now i'm gonna let you i'm gonna turn this back over to her and i'm gonna shut up for a little bit well she picks up from uh, uh, transportation. I'm actually going to interrupt here for a minute. Okay, go ahead. <clears throat> the way I did these budgets this month and next month's next quarters are going to be a little bit different. Like I said, I'm trying to get a template generated to do this that actually pulls from our actual budgets. This was not a, a vehicle maintenance cost. This is a vehicle. Purchase. This was what we purchased Sunshine for. That yeah. We paid two hundred eighty thousand for Sunshine. Plus insurance and so forth. Yeah. And so, you know, that that, that one is incorrect, and it made our monthly and average. It made our, our monthly average and so high. Quarterly uh, total 5, way high. Uh, 
next month I've actually got this transportation or next quarter fixed I've got this transportation fixed and done a little bit differently so you're gonna see it because again in this quarter we're having some really intense maintenance issues with, with sunshine, sunshine yeah. that we're doing some upgrades and improvements and doing some genuine maintenance to it but we're also doing a bunch to Rusi. yeah and, and so that because some of Rusi's expenses are in here too and so we, we separated those out to where it's a little bit clearer to do uh, our fuel expenses fuel is high here in, in the Philippines True. fuel here is about Four, four fifty a gallon. That it's fifty. It, it's right about a buck a liter. Yeah. That, that it's a, just a hair over a buck a liter. It's ex kind of expensive, uh, but it's forty to fifty pesos per liter. So, uh, but Sunshine is really good on, on fuel economy. If people would like, I can do a little bit of a uh, video, video on that. Uh, I, again, I'm anal retentive. I, I've got. An app Everything. for that, so. Uh, so I, I, I why do, do we why do we pick why do we get transfer page, transportation? Because some people, it, it's our lifestyle. Some people, you can ignore that, and not get a transportation or vehicle here because you could. There's some other transportation too. We just choose to because for our convenience, right? As we uh -huh. talk to other our videos. And that's one of the category I did throw in there. Here in Cebu City, traffic is insane. Yeah. I, I am able to drive through it. I do drive through it. I'm getting way more comfortable and competent Especially at it. Especially if we know where the parking is. But the one thing that is insanely difficult here is parking. Yeah. Uh, typically, we take a cab, we take taxi or trike the yeah. first time going someplace just to make sure that I, I, I can see where parking is. Yeah. Uh, Google Maps is great. <laughs> Their satellite view uh, on an older, more well-established business will often show you where a parking lot can be, and so we'll sometimes do that. Yeah. But again, in transportation, because we do use cabs quite heavily. Correct. Uh, I, I did include a, uh, and, and again, it went, and this quarter's budget is going under just uh, transportation or vehicle or automobile or I, I forget the exact category and I've got the window minimized so I can't see it terribly well. Ah, uh, yeah, I need, I need stinking glasses. Uh, but we, we, I separated that out. So the automotive expenses, you know, getting keychains, car wash, that type of stuff is separated out versus taxi rides. Yeah. Uh, and we do still use a taxi quite heavily here in Cebu. Uh, and when we go to Sabunga, don't so much use trike. Trikes are hard. I don't mind to... trikes, but trikes are hard on me. I, I the especially in the province areas to where it's like you really they're, they're set up like for that. a Filipino sized person. So that's why we use often sunshine in the province where because when we buy groceries like one sack of rice corn all of those stuff so it's really convenient for us instead of paying 50 to 100 big passes for it you know yeah because uh or getting more or you know so yeah because i've seen i've been with papa uh at one of the time one of our visits yeah that he loaded down a trike with, with groceries sent it off and we got on the next trike and we followed the, the groceries home with a few few more on the extra trike. So yeah. it, it just makes, you know, in the province, it makes uh, a lot more sense That's for us funny. to do to do the uh, sunshine. But here in the city, a lot of times if we're just not interested in driving, we'll, well, we'll, we'll jump in a cab. We average, basically, because we are here in the downtown, we average like 65 passes to 80 passes, which is basically one dollar one point two to close to two dollars for our fare right john okay so um let's move on or oh, john is looking something so you have to give me a second all right I, oh i know what i did wrong uh again this works out way better if you actually know what you're doing real quick 
Oh, I didn't do it that month. Well, okay, never mind. He's looking at the app. I guess we um, entered it. Yeah, like I say. Uh, so basically, our transportation here, as you can see, totals is so high, but that's just a one time setup. And then. Um, oh, I guess I didn't do it last month. Okay. So you could see that. And then what I'll about. I'm trying to tell what our taxi bill last, last month was for the entire month. Oh, you can't see it? That uh, I, I can't come up with it quick enough. I should, that was something I should have had pre planned out. Okay, okay so, so we're done with the transportation. Moving on to personal clothing, salon. So we don't really have much because it's, as you can see, only 1,224 pesos. And that's average of $8. And Barber, it's $4. Dollars and through, but that's for the last quarter. Basically, this new quarter because I went to massage salon and that would be higher. Yeah, this quarter is going to be uh, these higher. Figures are going to be a lot higher. Yeah, because I went, you know, girl stuff. <laughs> I needed it. So let's move on to medical. So this is like unexpected budget here when we arrive in the Philippines. So doctor's um, appointment. The, this one is doctor's physical. It's Papa's health, right? Um, yeah, the, uh, the doctors in this month was pretty much exclusively Papa. Uh, so we basically get, get a good deal on getting like the MRI, the ECG, cardio. Okay, let, let me back up here just a second. The, we separated out doctors and dentists here. Yeah. The, and the prescription, the medication. Our dental uh, in October. I needed some dental work in to get uh, a new denture made, a new partial denture made. Yeah. And so Cindy and I talked about it. Mama and Papa had never had a, a good dentist appointment. Uh, Papa needs dentures. Papa needs dentures. Yeah. And so that's what we originally intended on doing. But when Papa got down there, they found out his blood pressure was way high. Like it. High. And one of the things they needed to do for dentures for him is he's got a tooth that's broken bad enough that it needs to be Deep extracted. Cold. Yeah. And they will not do the extraction until he gets his blood pressure under control. And so the partial, his checkup and cleaning, Mama's checkup and cleaning and extraction for Mama. Yeah. Uh, that there was a lot of dental work done here that did roll over into November. But in November, started Papa's getting that blood pressure under control, going and finding out what's causing it. We knew that he had a little bit of diabetes, but uh, it was a little bit out of control at that point. Yeah. And so there was a lot of, of in-depth maintenance health issues that Papa needed to deal with. And so... That's where the uh, the the expenses do come in, and why it's way 11. high that month. Uh, and again, that these are maintenance medications that Papa has been on, and so with Mama, on, and, and Mama is on as well. Uh, and in our budget, we have this separated out to prescription and over the counter drugs. Yeah. So, but for this purposes, we combine the two categories into just medication. Yeah. So this includes everything from uh, Papa's blood pressure prescription, High blood pressure, diabetes, all the way down to our vitamins and herbal yeah. life stuff. Yeah. So medication is kind of a broad category for this particular one. So, so that's why it's high, basically. So as you could see, <clears throat> we have an average of four hundred fifty-three dollars for the three. So basically, without insurance, that's a good thing, you know? Yeah, because we weren't able to use put any of this on insurance. Yeah, so we, <clears throat> without insurance here in the Philippines, we paid a average of $453, which is 22 pesos, 22,430 pesos. Sorry about that one. There is a dollar sign, but this is a pesos, and then this one is a dollar. Oops, I need to go back and do that. So, um, As you can see, I'm, I'm still updating this video, or this up, updating this uh, spreadsheet. So basically, our medical, it's also good that we arrive. For, it's for perfect timing, what, what can I say? Like, yeah. I didn't realize that 
pressure. Well, Papa has already you health. Sure is, is actual blood pressure. Huh? Yeah. Blood pressure. yeah. Yeah. Papa had a blood pressure of like 180 yes. over. Like 120. Yeah, so hard. Yeah, for a skinny person. Was, for a skinny person. Yeah, and he's a tiny, skinny. You saw, you uh, saw Papa on the physically video, fit so. person. So his blood pressure was was unreal. Yeah. Uh, Sometimes and, Mama is like that too, but Mama started to minimal, uh, normalize. Yeah, the, the, the Mama, Mama's a lot of stress type blood pressure Never. issues. <laughs> yes. uh, and and Papa is, is a little bit of stress, but a little bit just the you know he's somebody that's going to have high blood pressure issues. It's the hereditary too, because my grandfather, my grandmother. Yeah, because he's a his dad died from diabetes and high blood. Uh, and two of his brothers. <laughs> yes. So it, it's something that runs in his family, and it's just something we're going to have to maintain and keep an eye on. And he has seen how well it does do. Uh, if you paid attention to our. our previous videos when they went to Mindanao mm. that he was feeling better and so he'd stopped taking the medication <gasps> and his blood pressure was back off the charts and they wouldn't let him go to, they wouldn't yeah. give him his medical clearance and the mama papa my sister or mama Cindy uh, my sister all kind of chastised him and told him that no that you need to stay on these all the time so he's seriously uh, taking <clears throat> his medication so Overall, as you could see, we have the total expense here. So basically, we average 160,337 pesos, 70 cents, and 3,238.82 dollars. So, um, it's too high for um, if you want to retire here Again, in the Philippines. There's, if there's you... a lot of setup costs in these. This is not a good example of an ongoing budget. If we Nick remove the 1,900, basically 1,300, that's the monthly. So here's the thing. Can you leave here in the Philippines for $500 to $1,000 or $1,500 to $2,000? Absolutely, yes. You could actually leave here de depending on your lifestyle. You know, from let's say some people do their videos ranging from six hundred dollars there is seven hundred dollars eight hundred or some one thousand three hundred to you know but ours are just different because we're a family of two but we have a seven to ten extended family members <laughs> now for this first quarter most of that time mom and papa were gone yeah and so we didn't have a whole lot of expenses but we have Giving also the, the well, we, we gave we gave some money and stuff like that, uh, but but our day to day living expenses it's are, just are going to be quite, quite a bit lower. Yeah. Uh, now, mom and papa got back. Yeah. Uh, Jill's coming back, mm -hmm. so March's expenses are probably going to be a little bit high. And then we're planning to have a extended renovation in the house. <laughs> another. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have a lot of. Uh, Expenses again. We're, we're going to have a lot of it. Uh, the uh, expenses over in that, at uh, yeah, that probably might be the greatest one, but uh, over in that over in that section, over in this section, we're probably going to have a lot of explanation in quarter two. Yeah, because um, we're going to have a little bit of explanation. In, did we in tell the first them quarter. the um, cost for the extended dirty kitchen? Basically, it's no, we, did, we didn't include that in this budget, but yeah, if you know the number off the top, it's of basically your head, it's like 32,000 pesos, so like 500 to 600. Yeah, that it, it, it was less than Roos, it was less than the uh, 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 Sunshine's cost, yeah. That, but that's basically what our setup costs cost yeah. for the first quarter we were here. The fourth quarter. Yeah, so quarter. next quarter will be, um, we will be explaining or telling you how much our rent here, um, so on and so forth with the two of us. Because, um, yes, we have um, expenses because we give money to my parents. We give for groceries. So we kind of, we could tell you, or maybe we could break down, okay, this is our expense for the two of us, and this is our expense giving to the family. Because I, I could really categorize that what you think 
And, and we could. And, and like I say, that this this was just a rough template to come up with yeah. what we felt comfortable with in the beginning and what we, we felt was important to share. Yeah. And if you people would like, you know, subscribers would like to see other things on here, let us know. Yeah. Uh, that's in it. I'll talk about it. And if we're comfortable sharing it, we will. Yeah. Uh, if you guys have got better ideas on how this might look a little bit better. You know? Yeah. So maybe we will have another live stream explaining more about our budget. On, so we have an interaction with some people. If you want to know better, if, are we giving much? Are we giving out people? Are we, you know, you know those type of stuff. Because those are just privates. Because we are not like charity or some sort of, and we don't want to compromise our channel for, for those type of stuff. We don't want to complicate things, you know. And we've made reference to that we build a house for your, your aunt about yeah. Kubo. But, but that's part of the reason why we've just made reference to it. Yeah. It, it was for a family member. It wasn't, yeah. it was a charity act, but it wasn't a charity act. Yeah. It was a charitable act, but not a charity act. You know yeah. what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Because I, I used, to, used to work in a charity foundation as a board member. And now, we, we've talked about doing something like that in the future. Yeah. But if we do, we're going to wind up setting up a charity to do it. And we're going to have it set up before we start, start doing, doing it. it. Because we don't want to complicate things and questions and so and so forth. You know, we don't want to, we just want to avoid complications and questions and so and so forth. We will, and we will do things right, correctly and, you know, follow the procedures here in the Philippines. And to be bluntly honest, if we, if we do something like that, we will, we will do these quarterly type budgets with that. Yeah. So that people can see exactly what was brought in and taken out. And that's the one advantage of having Cindy the company you're working for right now that that's all they do is books for charities yeah uh you were the bookkeeper you were the account for a charity back in phoenix a, a fairly sizable charity yeah on a couple different occasions and uh, for a couple of different charities I mean. and you know so that you're comfortable with it you're familiar with it uh is it something on the horizon you know that time will tell and get you know god willing yeah uh but again, if we do, the, you'll see these budgets because of, uh, of transparency in it. And, and we're basically we are transparent people. of everything. Like we, um, there are things that we choose not to tell you because we just don't want to complicate things. And you know, we have viewers and just for our personal purposes too. Yeah, and generally, you know, that if somebody asks. Generally, we're we're okay. We may ask, you know, hey, well, let me email it to you or private message yeah. it to you, so it's not broadcast all over. But, yeah. But uh, those are the transparent or, or daily living, personal, medical trans. All of that are we are religiously tracking them because we want to make sure okay how much we spend and how much like because me I have some ODD issues that or and ADD issues that, because uh, it helped me remind OCD issues there we go it helped me remind too because I'm here in the Philippines and easily like I'm. it's just like the war uh, I mean the money just suddenly disappeared because I'm spending too much money here in yeah. the Philippines that's one thing like my weakness you know I'm struggling you know because I'm too generous I'm too much giving and, and I'm too I'm like in the US where we spent hardly any cash. Yeah. I, I never carry and cash. And here, I use cash often. And I'm like, oh, where do But because of that, the, the money was trackable. Yeah. And so we, we were able to, to keep track of every penny we spent because of that. Yeah. Here, it's all cash. And, and like you just said, cash tends to just flat out disappear and without... you never know. Did I lose it somewhere down the street? I know. I'm like, <laughs> let me see. I'm like... If two days I cannot enter, I'm like, wait a minute, where's the money go? So yeah, the, the, and I I'm very bad about it. I'm getting better about, and that's the thing I like about having it on the phone. That the minute I I, I spend something, I open the app and I, I enter it. Yeah. Uh, but if I don't, in 20 minutes, I'm gonna forget about it. 
so we're actually 41 minutes so we don't want to stay long or you know with your time we appreciate you for watching and spending time with you so this is really simplified version as you could see on our spreadsheet and thank you so much so appreciate you if you watch to this point I appreciate you watching to this point uh, stay tuned the second week of April I will try to have I will do my utmost best to have quarter one's budget posted because I've already got a lot of the groundwork already done so yeah but other than that thank you and my